Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go over how to change the order of your attract mode displays for your system select screen. Pretty simple, but what we're going to want to do is either through emulation station or through the attract mode setup wheel, we're going to want to go to file manager. So what you're going to want to do is, is make sure you have a keyboard attached, make sure you have your RetroPie and a laptop or PC both hooked up to the same network either through Ethernet or Wi-Fi it doesn't matter so we want to go to file manager like I said either through this or through emulation station doesn't matter so now if your screen looks like this if your screen looks like this what you're gonna to want to do is hit enter on the top and make sure you go to home Pi, hit enter on nose, and then go to retro pie. This is just the way I do it. I go to ROMs and I just try to find a folder that I'm not using anything for, so maybe a game that I don't have anything in, just to make it easy for me to locate. So it doesn't matter which screen you're going to use, or which folder anyway. So then you're going to hit tab, and go over, make sure you go through the same thing, home and then pi. Now you want to want to go to attract. And you're going to scroll down to attract.cfg. Hold your shift button, press down, let go of your shift, go back up as long as the letters are highlighted, you've select that file. Now press the F5 button or key on your keyboard. Just asking you if it's okay to to copy it over. Hit okay. For me it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite because I already have the file over there. Uh, you sh probably won't have it there, so it'll just transfer it. But I'm going to hit yes to just copy over. So from there, now what we're going to want to do is go to our laptop or our PC, and we'll continue. On our PC, what we're going to want to do is go to our network. As long as your Raspberry Pi and your PC are on the same network, you should have access to your Retro Pi. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Go to ROMs. Find that folder that we're just using out of convenience. Find the attract.cfg file. Open that guy up. And you should have a screen like this. Actually, more than likely, it's going to look like a big jumbled mess and everything's going to be together. So if that was the case and it's not laid out like this where it's neat and orderly, cop it, select all, copy it, paste it into a Word document, and it'll lay it out like this, and you'll have an easier time going through it. Then you can copy and paste it back over to the, the notepad, the CFG file. So what you're going to want to do in here, it's going to be quite a few pages. The only ones on here that you're going to want to move around are the ones that say display. Toward the bottom, you'll have ones that say layout and sound and whatnot. But in order to change anything on your display wheel, these are the ones you're going to want to move around. So the first wheel I have is the attract mode setup, and then I have I usually have NES and Super NES and whatnot. But what we could do here, so I have these guys listed like this. What you want to do is is take from where it says display all the way to where it says favorite equals. Copy that, control C, or just copy it, and then delete it, and then move it to where you want. Make sure you have the space between each display so it doesn't run into it and mess something up. And that's pretty much it. It could take a little while to get everything sorted the way you want, but that's all it is. It's just copying from here, deleting it and then putting it where you want it to show up in whatever order. So then you would go ahead and save it, exit out. Now it's saved in that folder, in your ROMs folder on the RetroPie. And then we need to go back to the RetroPie. So now back on our RetroPie, we're gonna to wanna to go back to that folder that we used highlight our attract.cfg so hold shift press down and it will highlight the letters yellow 
Then from there, I'm just going to want to press F5 to copy it over. Make sure you're still in this, this screen where you're in the attract from home, pie, and then attract. So we'll have that highlighted and we will copy it over by pressing F5. We'll hit OK. It's going to ask if we want to overwrite it. You're going to click yes. I'm clicking no because I don't want to change anything, but you would click yes to overwrite it. And then it'll copy it over. Once you reboot, go back into your displays menu. Everything's going to be sorted the way you want it. Pretty simple, I think. Um, you follow the process that I showed. I'm not sure of any other way to do it. This is pretty simple, so if there are any other ways to do it, it's probably going to be more complicated. So this is the way I do it. If you guys have any questions, hit me up, and I'll catch you guys.